In this video, I'm going to compare the taut line hitch to the midshipman's hitch. Is there really a big difference in holding power between these two adjustable, somewhat bulky knots? I'm going to discuss the knots, how to tie them, do a compare contrast in a bunch of different lines, and then at the end, tell you which one I choose and why. Thank you very much, Dave N, for the question on my video, the top five camping knots to know. Dave N, a subscriber, asked, Aaron, do you find any appreciable difference in the holding strength of the taut line hitch versus the midshipman's hitch? Which of these very similar hitches do you prefer to use and why? We're gonna cover that in this video. In order to tie the taut line hitch, what you do is you take your standing part and your running end, you tie it around your tent pole or whatever you've got. Then you take this guy and you make your first wrap around and make sure you get plenty of cord. It's very easy to give, go too short on this guy. You wrap it around once and then twice, just like this, so the loops are very nice and flat. Then you pass it around this part of the loop. Then you continue around again, just like this. And you pop through here and you begin dressing the cord. And what it should look like is a clove hitch with an extra loop here. Very simple, very easy to inspect. You can see what that guy looks like from all sides. Not too bad. Now to tie the midshipman's hitch, it's a very similar hitch. So what you do is you come around the first time, but the second time you come around, you come around inside, so you create a cross. So instead of let me start from the beginning. You come around here once, but instead of coming around twice in here, you create an X or a cross hitch here, and then you come over. You come around just like you did with the taut line hitch, and then you dress the knot. Now, as you can see here, instead of a flat loop, we come back and you come inside instead of around this part, and this creates the midshipman's hitch. Not too bad, subtle variation, but let's now do a compare and contrast in strength and holding power on this type of knot. As you'll see here, I've got a bunch of different cords, and we're going to start off with this 9, 10 millimeter inexpensive cord from a local store. On the right, I've got the midshipman's hitch, and on the left, I've got the taut line hitch. I tied them a few minutes ago. You can see I can adjust this guy pretty easy, and I can adjust the taut line hitch pretty easy. So now what I'm going to do is just pull on them and see what happens. You can see that under decent tension, they both slide. The taut line hitch, I find, tends to slide a little bit easier than the midshipman's hitch in this thick cord. So if I adjust, I'll pull, and you can see that midshipman's hitch run. I will adjust this cord, and I will pull. And it, to me, there's a little bit less force. So I would say in this very thick, pretty stiff cord, the midshipman's hitch does a little bit better. Now, I'm going to put that away, get this out of here. Now we're going to try this four millimeter very stiff cord, it's climbing cord here. You can see the midshipman's hitch here. And let me get some more light on this situation. You can see the midshipman's hitch here and the taut line hitch here, and watch what happens when I pull on these guys. Boom! They both, I would say, arguably fail. So let me slide this back, the taut line hitch. Let me slide the mid-hitman, 
midshipmen's hitch back. I will snug them up and tighten them because in stiff cord, they tend to loosen up. All right, so again, I will pull on both and they both slide. The midshipman's hitch tended to have a little bit more friction to me than the taut line hitch and after pulling, you can see the midshipman's hitch is coming apart and the taut line hitch is coming apart in the stiff cord. So they're not great in stiff cord. But let me switch to much more flexible, much, much more flexible cord in the taut line hitch and the midshipman's hitch. Now watch what happens. I'll pull on both and I'm in, I'm pulling with really good 40 pounds of force. Yank. Oh, let's see here. Let's, let's try this. Okay, ready? And uh, uh, okay. I want to get a hernia here. Nothing happened. In very flexible cord, the midshipman's hitch and the taut line hitch were very comparable. Eventually I got it to slide. The midshipman's hitch, ooh, it bites a little bit more. Interesting, huh? Taut line hitch again, pretty hard to break free. The midshipman's hitch, because of that cross there, tends to bite a bit better. Now, even though that's all academic and interesting, the only thing that really matters is when you're doing this with guy line, which this is two millimeter, 1.5 millimeter trip tease cord. Again, midshipman's hitch here, taut line hitch there. Let me pull and nothing happens. Because this cord is very flexible and small, the midshipman's hitch binds up just fine as well as a taut line hitch. So for both knots or hitches, either one really does well. Let me show you what that looks like here. See if my GoPro zooms in and you'll see the midshipman's hitch and you'll see the taut line hitch. Now I'm going to explain why I chose what I chose, especially for my book and what I always use. In stiff cord where you can really, you know, you get this cord here and I can stiffen it up and hold it into space versus my yellow cord here, bloop. <laughs> There's no comparison. So it's not necessarily the hitch that you choose, but it's rather the rope or the cord that you choose that makes all the difference. So limp, flexible cord, either knot works or either hitch works, stiff cord, both kind of suck. As you can see, the midshipman's hitch has a tiny bit better binding power than the taut line hitch. However, the midshipman's hitch dresses in down and it ends up flopping out to become the taut line hitch and then you end up with the same deal anyway. That's why I just go with the taut line hitch because it's a much easier hitch to inspect than the midshipman's hitch and getting that little crisscross in there is reliant on me keeping that knot good and tight but the taut line hitch has served me well for pushing 40 years. I think I'll stay with that. The midshipman's hitch requires a little more fiddling. And when I'm cold and camping and when I set up my tent, I don't want to mess around with the crisscross. Thank you very much for watching. I am the author of The Most Crucial Knots to Know. Please check it out in the links below. My name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a fuller explorer and professional adventurer. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel so you can get more info like this. Thank <laughs> you.